They've served all over the world. These vets are in Cincinnati now from all corners of the globe. Legionnaires are here at the Duke Energy Convention Center. We got in this yesterday afternoon. What do you think of Cincinnati so far? So far, it seems pretty nice. It's a chance to meet and talk about issues important to the world's largest veterans group. Most of it is how we can support our service members across the board, whether there's guard, reserves, or still serving. Uh, you know, we serve those who serve. That's the nature of what we do in our business. 9,000 visitors are coming to town for the convention with an estimated economic impact of 12 to $17 million. But the biggest names won't get here until next week. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The major party candidates will get a chance to deliver their message to the convention that represents 2.2 million vets. We're all interested to hear what uh, all the candidates have to say. Obviously, we're nonpartisan, so what we have to do is uh, to take what we hear, uh, digest it, and make our decisions from there. We want to hear their plans of what they will do if they are elected president of the United States. The state of the Veterans Administration health care system is a top priority along with national defense. We do believe in voting, and we do believe in understanding the issues that most impact uh, veterans. While things are already pretty busy, it really gets started on Tuesday. That's when they hold their opening ceremonies here at the Cincinnati Convention Center. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.